What is up, guys? Welcome back to the studio. So good to have you. I uh, cannot believe it's December already. And uh, how's it going? You guys ready for the holidays? You guys got all your gifts? I was thinking about making that video too. Like, holiday gifts for potters. Anyway, that's not this video. This video, we're talking about how to re-glaze your pottery. Because if you didn't know, when it's all finished, said and done, it might seem like you can't do anything to it anymore, but you can, you can refire it. And there's a couple tips and tricks that I have that I'm gonna share with you. Um, so we had some mugs come out, and this mug stuck to the top of the shelf. So if you can see right there, the, sh the shelf came right down and it was like right in there. So the whole lip is kind of messed up. So we're gonna reglaze this one. These two came out and in the kiln, they had like fallen together like this. So I carefully broke them apart and then I ground down the parts where they uh, like had little sharp edges. So this part right here, you can see, and these are just mugs that we use at Mocha Monkey, so I threw 20 ounce mugs. So I'm just gonna like put more glaze over on top on top of this little bare spot there. And same thing with on this handle, I'm just gonna put some glaze on that. And then it should, we should take these mugs, which would otherwise just be kind of trash, and we'll get to refire them. So a couple things to note about this. Glazing pots that have already been fired up to where it gets vitrified, like cone six or cone 10 or whatever temperature you fire to, um, is not as easy as when you do it originally. Like when you get pots out first, they're fired up to bisque temperature, so cone 06 or cone 04, the clay is still porous, so it absorbs the glaze. So when you dip or paint on or brush or whatever, spray it on, the glaze actually gets absorbed. This, is already vitrified, it's not gonna really absorb anymore. So the key to reglazing, which I'll show you when we start doing this, is to heat up the pot. So we're gonna use this heat gun, and we'll heat up the pot, the areas where we wanna dry it, and then we'll dip it in again, and then we'll kinda use the heat gun to dry it off, and then we'll do probably like two different coats. So, kinda have to experiment a little bit. I've had really good luck reglazing things, pretty much every time I do it, it works out. The other reason that I do this, like some of these glazes, if you can see right in there, there's these little tiny pinholes, and that can also be reglazed. So I'll just take some glaze and just like boop, 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 boop in the little holes. Um, and these I might even try and fire upside down just for kicks and giggles. Usually it should work. So we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna just film this and then we'll load them in the kiln and then we'll check them out when they get done. Alrighty. All right, we're pretty hot. So, we got, this is blue surf. All right, now we're gonna dip. Hopefully it's not too hot for me to handle. And then you might as well do it again. Because if you didn't heat it up, this takes forever to dry, and then it just likes to drip off too but you can already see it's kind of getting dry. Okay, and then I'm gonna do one more little dip. Just around the edge. And that should do it. And then I don't really need to heat gun that one again because it's gonna be a couple days before we do a glaze firing. So I'll just set that to the side and go on to the next one. All right, so this one was just a handle. So I'll just heat that up a little bit. All right, that should be good for that one. That took like no time at all. Last one, right there. So you can pretty much try reglazing things. I've 
fired things up to like three or four different times. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend as much as you can, try and get her done in the first try or maybe in the second try. I've heard people say that you really shouldn't fire things more than that, but I can't tell you I know why or I can't tell you I haven't done it because I have. Um, so yeah, we'll fire these again and then these will be at Mocha Monkey to be used as 20 ounce mugs. So, all right, we'll be back in a couple days after we get this kiln out and I'll show you the results. All right, see you soon. All right guys, it's like three or four days later, but those mugs that we reglazed are in this kiln. And so I'm gonna take them out and show it to you. Uh, unfortunately, I know one of them dripped off really bad, so we didn't fix that one, but I think the other two will work. So in here, there it is, there's one, I think. So this must have been the one you can kind of see a little bit right there. Like, so this was the one that we just glazed like the side of. So it did drip off a little bit, but I can grind that off and that'll be like hardly noticeable. So we saved one, right? Good things, good things. Okay, so there's one that we saved. This one was the one that just had the handle, right? I believe. So here's my, I fire everything on little cookies now to save bottoms and to save kiln shelves. So I just make these little, a lot of people ask about these. I just make these with a little circle cookie cutter, throw out a slab, doo -doo 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 -doo, make a bunch of them and uh, it's golden. So yeah, this one must have been the handle or else it was the one that we like dipped on. I think that might actually be the one that we dipped on the top. Okay, we'll, we'll deduct after we get the third one out. So that one's perfect now. So that's good, save two. And here is the one that <laughs> dripped way way bad. Okay, so this I can see was the one that I ground the handle on. So for this one, and I should have known this, I should have been more careful with around the handle because it tends to, when you put lots of layers on the handle, you tend to get lots of drips right at the end. So unfortunately, this one was pretty bad. Like you can see a big chunk came out of the piece right there. But either way, I'll grind this one down. We'll still use it at Mocha Monkey. Oh. Um, let's see, do I have a, okay, so I just have a little flat screwdriver and I'm just gonna, this might even pop off more of the bottom of it. Oh. Well, there it broke my little cookie. I should be wearing eye protection. Oh gosh. That one is, Woo, brutal. Okay, well, I'll have to work on that later. But that one might be going in the trash. But we saved two and, uh, oh, the other one that we reglazed that I didn't show you how I did it, but it came out and it is awesome. Okay, so we had a set, we had a set that looked like this with these Minnesotas on it. And they were cool, but they had like these little pinholes that were coming out. So I was like, mm, I'll, I'll try something with them. So what I did is I just dipped the bottom layer and then fired it upside down, right? So it came out like this, which it's so cool. Like, I don't know if you can, I'll put in a picture of it, but it is like this epic. So it was fired like this. I, it has glaze on the bottom of it. And so I got fired it like this and it's so cool. I love it. I don't know. I've had this like thought that I should just start firing like way more pieces upside down because whenever it happens and then you get these little tiny drips that are, they're so cool. It's so awesome. All right, friends. I hope this video helped you think about maybe you can reglaze some of your pieces that you thought you were done for. Um, I'd say experiment. Sometimes you, sometimes it works. Sometimes it does not work and you just gotta learn to let go of the things that don't work and keep moving forward. All right, that's it for this video. This might be one of the last videos of 2019. I don't even know, because we're, we're gonna take the week of the Christmas break off. And uh, so if this is the last video of 2019, then I will see you guys in 2020. I wanna do a 2019 year review video, but who knows? Who knows if I'll ever get to that. All right. Peace out. See you guys in the next video.